All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out of Tolan in his truth. I'm Pathaka Moth, GMS Dallas. And I'm just coming back at you with a really quick hit uh, exhortation lesson, you know, for the Akim and few Akwathim that listen. You know, and I'm going to entitle this lesson, The Lord Didn't Bring Us This Far to destroy us man you know what i'm saying so hey just keep pushing keep fighting you know what i'm saying it's gonna be a quick uh, exhortation lesson just making that point because off the top what did the lord tell us in in matthew the 24th chapter and verse 13 i'll get it real quick i'm just gonna let the scriptures talk today uh this is matthew 24 and 13 but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved so off the top you know, it's about enduring until uh, until the end, man. You got a lot of people that came into this truth, into this knowledge, this understanding, this wisdom, and uh, you know, went back into the world. As a matter of fact, I mentioned in a in a, in a previous uh, live stream that we did, there was a guy I can't remember which cap uh, camp that he uh, uh, camp that he was uh, in, GMS camp, and he he left the camp to go pursue a rap career, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and this this place is over, man. It's through. You know. The Lord is killing rappers left and right, so, and he going to leave the truth to go be a rapper? You know, that that's that don't make sense, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know, he came into the truth, didn't respect it, then, then, you know, at the end of the day, he wasn't he wasn't part of this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, you know, us that's in this knowing, this knowledge, and this truth that's been uh, uh, bought into this thing, hey, that's a gift, man. You know, it's a special thing. So at this point, we're in it. We're in the race, man. So it's about enduring now you know what i'm saying you know so keep pushing keep fighting endure lord willing until the end speaking to myself first and foremost and 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 hope and lord willing we can be a part of the the the, the mercies of the lord uh and that salvation man being the first fruits of the coming kingdom man you know what i'm saying so the lord didn't bring us this far to just destroy us man you know what i'm saying so we're gonna get into that real quick and hopefully this is an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect which i hope to be a part of you know, so this is Jeremiah, the 30th chapter in verse 11, and it reads, For I am with thee, said the Habashmi Awashai, to save thee, though I make a full end of the nations, whither I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in measure and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. Because we went off, man, you know. We went off, man, uh, uh, you know, that idol worship, which which two third of our people are still uh, connected to and 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 and, and uh, highly immersed in uh, to this very day, man. You know, they're, they're caught up in all manner of 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 of, of uh, religions and, and, and lies, man, you know, from from the uh, Catholic Church to Christianity to uh, to uh, uh, Islam, the uh, Egyptology. You know, 5% is all the different, uh, uh, you know, even Buddhism, man, you know, with uh, Tina Turner and, and, and uh, Lil' Kim, man. You know what I'm saying? Our, our nation is in all manner of wickedness and everything but the right thing, man. You know, this knowledge, man. So we're, we're hey, it's all in, 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 in measure. The, those corrections come in measure. And and the Lord wasn't going to leave us all together unpunished, man. We had to uh, uh, be uh, uh, punished for the things that we've done. That's why we were sent to America, man. You know, which was a a, a prison sentence, a, punish, a punishment to the nation, man, for going off, man. You know, Micah 2 and 10 goes into that, man. You know what I'm saying? But it says, the first part of the verse says, for I am with thee, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai is with his nation of people, beginning and starting with the elect. Saith Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, to save thee. So the Lord is going to save his people, but not the entire nation. Zechariah 13 and 8. You know, two parts shall be cut off and die, but the one part shall be bought through the fire, man. Though I make a full end of the nations, which he's going to do, man, uh, you know, except for the remnants of, of those nations, man. Whither I have scattered thee because he has scattered his people among all those nations, man. You know, it's in, uh, you can read, you can get that account in uh, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 64, uh, uh, Leviticus 26 and uh, 33, Hosea 8 and 8, you know, all these, all these scriptures, uh, 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 make that point, man. You know what I'm saying? He says, yet will I not make a full end of thee. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord is not going to make a full end. You know, he's going to destroy the majority of his people. But that remnant, you know, 
which I'm going I'm to get the scriptures. Uh, it's going to come up a little later. I'll get here, get it here in a sec. Uh, that remnant, which is very important, man, is going to be is going to remain, man. You know, what I'm saying as a matter of fact, when you read in, in uh, Amos, the ninth chapter. Let's get that real quick in verse uh, uh, nine. You know, he's not going to make a full end of the nation of Israel. This is Amos nine. And we're going to drop down to verse eight. And it reads, Behold, the eyes of the of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, power are upon the simple kingdom. And in these times, that represents Esau, man. You know what I'm saying? America. Now, of course, we know because this scripture is twofold. Uh, originally, this was uh, uh, dealing with, which it still is, man. You know, dealing with the uh, uh, the nation of Israel, man. You know, and he's this, this is going to happen. And that's why he's going to kill two parts, the majority of his nation. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, Yahweh Shemel upon the simple kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So he's going to destroy the majority of his people, and he's going to destroy this simple kingdom, America, off the face of the earth. Saving, which which when you go into that word, uh, uh, saving is, is, is going into a uh, uh, ceasing or to end, you know, uh, uh, the finality of it. You know what I'm saying? And the finality of this thing. The, 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 you know, when it all, when it's all said and done and, and when he ceases and when it, when it comes to its end, he's not going to utterly destroy uh, the house of Jacob, which he's going to say is saving that I, that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Habashim Yahushai. So that full end, make it, when he says he's not going to make a full end of his nation, he's not going to utterly and totally destroy his nation. Now I get that, that, that uh, scripture in uh, uh, Isaiah, the 10th chapter. And verse 20, because that remnant, man, he's going to save a remnant, man. First fruits of the coming kingdom. This is Isaiah 10 and 20, and it reads, And it shall come to pass in that day, which we're in that day now, that the remnant of Israel, the remnant, very few in number, small, you know, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, escaped what? Uh, uh, the coming destruction, man, you know, that the Lord is about to bring shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, which is uh, talking about Esau, these Edomites, the true uh, uh, biblical red Hebrew Edomites, which is, is, is in these times is a so-called self-proclaimed white man, woman, and child. You know, we've had to uh, rely on this man for, for the want and need of all things. And that's in the curses in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, man. It says, so uh, uh, shall no more again stay, rely, depend upon, uh, or depend upon, Stay upon him that smote them, killed them, put them to death, man. But shall stay upon, rely, depend on the Lord, Yahweh Yahushai, the Holy One of Israel in truth. The remnant, verse 21, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty power. And that's happening as we speak, man, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, those chosen a uh, uh, few vessels from the uh, foundation of the, of the world uh, are returning, man. To, to Yahweh, their power and, and righteousness, man, you know, to their, their heritage as Israelites, you know, you know, which is prophesied. E e Ephesians is the first chapter, verse four, uh, Romans, the eighth chapter uh, around verse 28, you know, which all these things are the will and purpose and pleasure of the Lord, man. For uh, verse 22, for though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return, you know. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness, which is that coming destruction, man. So he said he's not going to uh, make a full end uh, uh, of his nation in Jeremiah 30 and 11. And in Amos, the ninth chapter in verse eight, it says he's not going to utterly destroy the house of Jacob, man. So the Lord didn't bring us this far to, de to destroy us, man. You know, you know, not at all. You know, if you've been uh, 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 bought into this glorious gospel and given this marvelous light, you know, hey, that's a beautiful thing, man. So we're going to that that brings me to my next scripture, which is Philippians. Let's go into the New Testament. Philippians, the first chapter. And we're going to start at verse five and read five and six. This is a Philippians one and five for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, which that first day until now represents the time that the from the moment the Lord bought you into this thing, woke you up, bought you out of uh, uh, the ways of this world. You know, you receive this knowledge, you know. Uh, uh, from day one, you know, you know, you gave up uh, 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 the ways of this world, you know, because the Lord bought you, you know, gave you this gl uh, glorious gospel and, and showed you this marvelous light. You know, you conformed to the image of the sun. You know, you put off the old man and put on the new. You know, you, you started trying to keep the law, statutes and commandments to the best of your ability, you know, which goes into uh, uh, 
uh, Numbers 5 and 11. I believe it's Numbers 5 and 11. Uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. I believe it's Numbers 5 and 11. You know, rehearse the righteous acts. You know, you started uh, uh, trying to keep the laws to the best of your, of, of your ability. You know, you became brotherly, start giving alms. You know, you started living uh, 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 according to the ways uh, 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 thus said the Lord, man. And, and, and you stopped living according to the ways of this world, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is a beautiful thing, you know? So, you know, hey, from day one, you know what I'm saying? Until now. You know, so, you know, whatever year or, or that, that, that the Lord decided to, decided to wake you up and, and, and give you this knowledge, you know, until now, man, you know, it says verse six, being confident of this very thing, what thing he's about to tell you what thing. And he says, be confident in what he's about to tell you. This very thing that he which hath begun a good work in you. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He, be, he, be, he began that good work in you from the day that he, uh, 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 whatever day you came in, uh, you came across this knowledge and you started believe, you believed it. When you heard it, you start living it until now, man. It says, have confidence in uh, uh, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Yahweh, uh, Salakia, of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, man, you know. So until the day that the uh, Yahweh returns, man, you know what I'm saying? So you're good. <laughs> you know, those people are good, whoever they are, man. Lord willing, I can be one of those people. I brought this out Baba Kashad, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I've already went through all the things, you know, you know, that putting off the old man and, and putting on a new and, 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 you know, conforming to the sun, all those things, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to remain those things until the return of of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man, which is a beautiful thing. So that that proves this scripture alone really proves, you know, that the Lord didn't bring us this far to 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 uh, destroy us, man. You know what I'm saying? So we're in good case, man. This is a beautiful thing, man. You know what I'm saying? So hold fast, man. You know, let's get this one in Second Thessalonians. Salakia, Second Thessalonians, almost mass Second Corinthians, uh, the third chapter, and we're gonna read verse uh, two. We're gonna start at verse two. And read two and three. There's Second Thessalonians three and two, and it reads, "And that we may be Salakia, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith." You know what I'm saying? And it's just dealing with the the, the men of faith, which is the elect. You know, and we're going to be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. You know, hell, even them. You know, but uh, uh because those uh, uh the Israelites that are part of the the elect. That's that's with these other uh, 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 wicked uh, uh, camps, these other camps that's out here that's going off, that's earned from the doctrine. You know, those people are going to come out of those camps, man. But ultimately, the, the wicked men, Esau, man, you know what I'm saying? And that way we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men from Esau to the two third of the nation of Israel. Verse three, but. The Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil. So he's going to keep us from evil, man. You have to believe these things, man. You got to have faith in these things, man. He said he's going to keep us from evil. He's going to keep us from evil, man. As a matter of fact, that reminds me of Job. Let's get that real quick. Job, the fifth chapter and verse 19. And it reads, he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. So he's going to deliver us from evil. There's no evil going to touch us. Let's keep it going. Psalms, the 91st chapter, Psalms 91. Brothers know where I'm going. In verse 10, and it reads, there, Psalms 91 and 10, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, nigh thy dwelling. So no harm, man. No harm. Nothing. You know, no evil shall touch thee, man. That's a beautiful thing. So we're going to keep it moving. Let's go to 2 Timothy real quick. I don't want to make this too long. So I'm just trying to get in and get out. 2 Timothy, Timothy chapter 4. And we're going to jump down to verse 18. And it reads, And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. You know, and that's self-explanatory. You know, the Lord is going to keep us 
from every evil work, man, no matter if it's coming from, from Esau or from two thirds of, of, of Israel, man. You know, we're going to be delivered from these things, man. You know, and will preserve thee, prefer, so like it, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom. That's, come on, man. You know, you understand what that's saying. <laughs> the Lord didn't bring us this far to destroy us, man. You know, so keep pushing, man. Keep fighting, you know. As a matter of fact, uh, he said, it says he will deliver us from every evil work, you know, which reminds me of Hebrews, the sixth chapter. Let me find Hebrews, Hebrews six and 10. And it reads, for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister because we're servants, man. You know, we're servants of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, as a matter of fact, we'll come back. We get this in Romans the 12th chapter real quick. It's Romans chapter uh, 12 and verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. It's your reasonable service, man. You know, don't think, you know, you're doing, even though there's going to be a reward for what we're doing, you know, hey, it's your reasonable service. You know, the mercies of the Lord is why you got this opportunity, man. You know, <laughs> so let's go back real quick to Hebrews 6 and 10. Hebrews 6, back in Hebrews 6 and verse 10, for the most high is not unrighteous. He's not unrighteous, man. So he's not going to forget your work and your labor of love, man. You know what I'm saying? Which ye, ye have showed towards his name. Again, the importance of the name, man. That name is very important. And you got camps out here teaching that we don't know the name. You know what I'm saying? Teaching the wrong names, man. That name is important, man. You know what I'm saying? And we're ministers. We're servants, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we do what we do. You know, because we're the servants of the Most High, man. So uh, let me get real quick. Second Timothy Go to 2 Timothy real quick. Chapter 4 and verse 2. And it reads, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Salakia. So like preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. And that's exactly what we do, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that labor. That's part of that labor of love, man. You know what I'm saying? We're out here laboring. We're, 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 and, and, and it's, and it's that love, that love, man. You know, if you claiming to love the Lord, but you ain't doing the work, you fooling yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's part of that labor of love, man. We got to come out and preach the word, man. It says being in instant, in season, out of season. You got a lot of groups that don't, they ain't part of that, man. You know, but they call themselves the men of the Lord, man. You know, in season and out of season. That means no matter what the weather is doing, get out there and preach, man. You know what I'm saying? And yet they call us, you know, a, a, a something snow, you know, they try to talk trash because we go out there, man. You know what I'm saying? While they sit in the comforts and luxury of, they, uh, of their of their homes, man. You know what I'm saying? And only go out when the, when the weather uh, uh, permits, man. That's not in season, out of season, man. You know? But it says to reprove rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. And that's what we do, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is part of this, uh, uh, that as a matter of fact, let me go back one, one more time to Hebrews, the sixth chapter in verse 10. We're going to read it one more time because that's what that's going into. Uh, uh, Hebrews six and 10 for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, man. You know, the, the, the preaching, man, you know, everything that comes with this glorious gospel, this this marvelous light, man. You know what I'm saying? Being brotherly, all those things I aforementioned. You know what I'm saying? Walking in righteousness, man. Thus saith the Lord, man. All that's the labor, that 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 work and labor of love. The Lord is not unrighteous. He's not going to forget, you know, and that's why the scriptures say that the, the their works do follow them, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be forgotten, man. You know, so we ain't got nothing to worry about, even if you uh, have to be a martyr for this thing. You're still in good case, man. The Lord didn't bring us this far to destroy us, man. You know what I'm saying? So let me get one more. It's going to be the, the, the capper right here. It's first Thessalonians chapter five and verse nine, because it really makes the point. 
And it reads, for the most high hath not appointed us to wrath. And when you go into that word appointed, it means set because that's how the Lord gets down. Things are appointed. You know, he pointed, uh, uh, appointed a, a number of the Israelites, the majority to stumble, you know, to snares and fall. You know what I'm saying? Things are appointed, man, means to be set for the most I have not set for us, has not set us to wrath, man. You know, it's not appointed to us. But to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shammaki, Hamashiach. And that's what, that's the kappa right there, man. We're not appointed to wrath, you know, which is what the Lord is about to bring. But we are appointed to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shammaki, when he returns to, to, de, uh, to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel, man. You know, and that's what, hey, we look for that, man, you know. And, and Lord willing, we can, uh, you know, myself, uh, especially can be a part of that, man. You know what I'm saying? And all you sincere, uh, uh Akim and, and Akwatham as well, man, you know, and we, and, and Hey, th these are things we pray for. These are things we hope for. So again, the Lord didn't bring us this far to, to destroy us. So keep pushing, you know, keep fighting, have faith. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, this was a little quick exhortation lesson. Hopefully it was edifying to the hopeful elect. With that, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahawah Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shah Dawadah, Shalom.